name is Chief One Officer Francis. I'm a um, one officer in the Army, Chief One Officer in the Army. Um, I will be retiring from active duty one April, uh, but I'm on terminal leave, so I picked up a second job as one of the instructors, JROTC instructors at Haltom High School. And this morning I had the privilege of talking to you guys about JROTC. Anybody know what JROTC stands for? <laughs> it's right here, right? It's right here, right? And that's a trick question, right? It's tricky. The JROTC stands for Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps, all right? And what that does is that our main focus of Haltom High School when it comes to JROTC is to make you guys, uh, motivate you guys to be good citizens. Basically what I boil down to is to motivate you guys to be productive members of society. I'm not saying you guys are not productive right now. We just want to give you all some tools that are going to help you along the way to be better. All right. And this morning, we're going to watch a couple of videos, a couple of YouTube videos that are going to explain the JRTC program in detail, the benefits, all right, and why you should join JRTC, the benefits of being in JRTC, all right. Some of the things that we do at JRTC that is going to enable you, one, to be a better citizen, two, to learn some survival skills, and three, earn the respect of your teachers, your parents, your siblings, and your peers. Sound good? Right. So before we go into that, I always like to ask this question. Who is interested in JRTC or how come High school, show of hands. Good. And the reason why I ask that question is we have a very limited time, right? And we have a lot of stuff we got to get done. So what you're going to go ahead and do is put your name, first name, last name, the course you want to drop, and JRTC that you want to add. And because you want to join, I get on these handy dandy water bottles, right? So what we're gonna do next is that I'm gonna play a video that's gonna explain all these things that I mentioned, all right? And at the end of the video, I'm gonna ask the question again, who wanna join? Because at that point in time, you should have a better understanding of what JRTC is and the benefits to you by joining JRTC. Are we good with that? All right, everybody is on argument? All, we on the same page, all right? Is that good? All right, let's see the video. Thank you. 
hands up. It's going to give you E2, the rank of E2 after the completion of the basic training. If you become three more years or more, you have the opposite. Then once you join the Air Force, you can graduate here to a T3, which is the third rank in the list of structure. So you have the highest rank just from doing uh, geology C. So what do you do in geology C? It's just like any other class that you have in high school. You go to school, you go to class, you have textbooks, um, you have a teacher, you have classmates. It's just a normal classroom environment with desks, a board, tests. You have quizzes, you got to write essays from time to time. But it has a lot more added on to it. Um, that's pretty much just the core function, the educational function. They teach you a lot in your first year. Each year has different focuses. Your first year, you're just learning about military customs and courtesies, you're learning about Air Force history, you're learning about leadership, you're learning about structure, uh, you're wearing your uniform for the first time, so you're learning how to tie your uh, tie, you know, shine shoes, wear the seat properly, shave, do all those things. It's just basic uh, fundamentals of being kind of in the military, kind of learning those type of uh, skills. And you're wearing the uniform once a week, every week. So you don't have to come to school just dressed in your own uniform, you're going to go to class, you're going to have uniform inspections. Um, it's actually, for me, I enjoy wearing my uniform. I enjoy being kind of different, kind of being set apart from other students in the school. The teachers look at you a little bit differently. They look at you with a little bit, a little bit more respect because they think, okay, well, this person has a little bit more responsibility than other students. You're taking up a little bit more, and we kind of understand that you are becoming more mature. You're taking steps to improve your life. And I think that is. Uh, Something that a lot of teachers saw, if, you, if they know you're doing sports, if they know you're out there in extracurricular activities, if you're in geology C, they uh, look at you with a little more respect. So do your peers sometimes. There's also different class projects. So at the end of the year, we have to get to group projects and we have to create something that can fly. I think it's just like create some type of flying machine. And I'm a group of us, it was like, and I was awesome. Other people were hot air balloons, other people were like rockets. It was actually a lot of fun. There's a lot of camaraderie, you get to make a lot of friends. For me, growing up, I didn't have a whole lot of friends. I moved out, I went to schools a lot. I finally got to high school, I finally joined Geology C, and I made friends, and I still talk to those people today. It's just like all friendships. There's also different teams that you can join for after school programs. Most Geology C programs have a drill team, uh, most of them have a color guard, some of them have exhibition teams. Um, Sacred teams, we actually wield swords and do different uh, performances. There's also model rocketry. Uh, there's also inspection teams where you'll have to go to competitions and be judged on how well you look in uniform. How much do you know about the Air Force? They'll ask you different questions and formation. Um, there's also different encampments. So over the summer, most of you see units all get together and have different camps. It's like boot camp. You go out, you live in uh, blocks of two different schools for us. We live in cabins. And we just have bunk beds and we all work together in the woods, go outside, we PT in the morning, then we have a whole leadership camp. Um, and at the end of it, you got to promote it to be an officer or get officer. There's also a ranking structure. So you have to move up in rank and as you move up, you get more responsibility. And it's kind of run just like the military, but you got a commander, a cadet commander, and vice commanders, and then you got other different commanders, and then you got people below who are facilitating and uh, even uh, flight chiefs, you have all these other things that you can do to increase your leadership, potential, increase your sociability, and kind of just how you interact with other people. There's also military balls, there's dining hands and dining rods, which you'll learn about that later. And basically, you go out and you have dinner, uh, a formal dinner, and there's dancing, there's food, there's all types of things going on. It's awesome. There's uh, awards given out. It's just basically an end of the year party for all the Air Force members, either at your school. Or all the jobs to see schools combined. And it's a lot of fun. Like, that was probably one of the most fun things I did uh, in high school. There's also promotion ceremonies. Uh, they'll do promotion ceremonies once a year or twice a year. It's a different school, you know, twice a year. Once you join, self improvement, confidence, leadership, scholarships, there's lots of different reasons. I can go on and on and on. It's one of the best decisions I've made in my life. And if you want to go to school and watch this video, do it. Even if you don't like it, you can do it for a year for free. That's fine. And you'll still have that experience with you. It's fine if you don't like it. Um, it's not for everybody. But for a lot of people, you do enjoy it. And even if you don't join the military, it can still offer you that benefit of self improvement, of improving your life, of being mature and being different and being a part of the group. Um, you get to make friends that you will never meet for the rest of your life. It is a my experience. That's how it was for me. You get to travel. Most schools go down to Florida for the 
international competition every year. There was also competitions around the East Coast that we went to. We went to Delaware, uh, Virginia, Maryland. There was a bunch of competitions in Maryland. But I would definitely suggest to go ahead and try it out. It's definitely a lot of fun. It's going to provide you a lot of experiences that you can you know, have anywhere else. I see my former instructors as mothers and fathers because they have really developed me and helped me with my development to develop into a I really didn't have the right skills to drive the job. So if you're interested in drive to see, make sure you get in contact with your school counselor. Make sure you can sign up for those classes. Not every school has drive to see, but it's definitely a program that is widespread and hopefully your school does have it. If you guys have any questions about drive to see, please leave them down below. I was a cadet colonel, I was the commander of my school, and it was the best experience of my life. If you guys have any questions, I'll leave them down there. I'll leave them down there. I'll answer them for you. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you guys watch. All right, guys. So you heard it. This individual was in the program. He graduated, went on to college. He gave you a breakdown of all the benefits of why you want to join JRTC. All right. And most importantly, why you want to join it at Hogcom High School. All right. So you can earn college. Uh, you, you can earn a college scholarship, all right? And, and this scholarship, what it does is that it will pay for your room and board, pay for all your books, and then you get a sniping of anywhere between 450 to $1,000 once you go into college, right? You get to travel. That's another thing. You also get an opportunity to learn some survival skills that you can use in case of emergency, all right? So we teach you how to do map reading. We teach you how to, we teach you uh, first aid. We teach you how to shoot a rifle, team building, all right? So we got team building events. All we ask is that you sign up for one year. If you don't like it after that year, you can leave. This program is not designed to, um, to get you to join the military in any shape or form, all right? Our main focus is to motivate young people to be good citizens. That's our motto at Hogtown High School JRTC program, all right? So after one year, if you don't like it, you can drop it. Come to me and say, Chief Francis, I don't want to do it no more. And I will chop the deuce and tell you, peace out. You know, have a good day, <laughs> all right? But you can stay for four years, right? And if you do decide to go into the military, you get advanced rank, which means that instead of going in as a private, you go in as a private first class, which is mean you're gonna make more money. You're gonna have more rank, you have more responsibility. So that's just some of the cool stuff that you get to do. But in addition to that, we do summer camps. In summer camps, we get to teach you land navigation. We get to teach you first aid. Yeah, you get to learn how to, you know, shoot a rifle, an air rifle. You get to know how to learn how to match, how to military custom and courtesy, military history, all this good stuff. But check this out, guys. You get to travel. You get to travel around the state and around the country. All right, because we do competition. If you is on one of the teams, the color guard teams, the PT team, physical fitness team, you get a chance to travel and compete with other schools. All right. And um, you get to broaden your horizon. All right. We also visit all military installations. So we get onto Fort Hood and we visit Fort Hood. You get a chance to meet soldiers, you get a chance to be in the vehicles, you get a chance to ask them questions. You get opportunity to, to eat in the dining facility, what they call the DFI, all right? Is it on the field trip. This is all the stuff that we provide and to you guys when you join JRTC at Halton High School. So by show of hands, who would like to take this opportunity to broaden their horizon by joining JRTC at Halton High School? Show of hands. A young man who wants to. Just go ahead and sign your name. Put that, uh, put your name, your first name, your last name, your class you want to drop. 
and JLTC. Guys, you want to do it too? All right. So, don't give you a water bottle. I will bring it back. I'll make sure I bring it back and give it to your teacher so, so, he, is, so he can give you water bottle. But what I will do this time is that I'll give you two pencils, all right? And I'll make a promise to you guys that I will come back. I will come back and bring the water bottle. Question? No, you want to join? All right, good. There you go. So if I can give you a water bottle once you once you sign my clipboard, you want to join? No. Put an asterisk by your name on my clipboard so I know I owe you a water bottle. All right, guys. This is. I'm excited. I'm really excited. I'm excited to the fact that I get an opportunity to teach, coach, and mentor the future of our nation, the leaders, the future leaders of our nation. You guys are the future, all right? You guys will replace your teacher. Some of you guys will replace your teacher. You're going to replace me. You're going to replace the president, congressmen, doctors, lawyers around the country. And I have an opportunity to pass on some of my knowledge that I've gained over the years of being the military, all right? So I'm excited. I'm really excited. And you guys should be excited too because you get to learn some cool stuff. You get to start building the foundation for your future. All right. Any questions? Any question? Anybody have any question they want to ask me about the military, about Halton High School, all that stuff? No? Guys, check this out. You guys are privileged. All right. Very privileged. I had an opportunity to serve in some really bad places and they don't have the opportunity that you guys have. They don't have to have a school like this, all right? You guys come to school and you guys have this beautiful, magnificent facility, all right? And it don't dawn upon you because you see it. It is given. It is something that you guys expect. You guys have Chromebooks. Some of these places that I have been, those guys don't have a, have a structure, all right? They don't have a structure. And I tell you this, but guess what? If you look, if you look at India, India is one of the leading countries in with technology, computers, right? And their and their conditions, teaching condition is not like this. All right. So you guys are privileged and you have got an opportunity to make a difference because you have all the tools. You have more tools than about 75% of the people in the world, the students in the world, your age right now, you have 75% of most advanced tools, teaching, techniques, and everything than those individuals. I say that to say, do not take this lightly, all right? Do not take this lightly. I'm not trying to scare you guys. But I'm trying to give you guys an idea. Who else? I want to give you guys an idea of the opportunities and privilege you guys have by being American, all right? By being American. So take that very seriously. And every opportunity that you get, think about it. Talk, to you, talk, talk about it with your family before you make an informed decision, all right? There's a lot of opportunity out there. JRTC is just one of the many opportunities. All right, this is a good program. It's one of the best programs around the country. It's been around for almost 200 years. All right, 150 years, JRTC. So our curriculum is what I call battle proven, battle proven, all right? We prove it over and over and over and it works. We have guys who, who, who goes on to become successful businessmen, successful, Lawyers, doctors, so on and so on, all right? Building the fabric of our society. What I'll do right now is show you guys another video of some of the activity we're going to do to obstacle course. Some of the stuff that we do at JRTC that enable you to develop your physical abilities, team building abilities, friendship, relationships with people who you're going to have in your corner for the rest of your life.
No? You want to jump? You want to jump? Have you done already? Yeah. Say it? Of course. Mm -hmm. As this is team building. This is working as a team to achieve a single goal. In this day and age, all right, you can put that stuff on your resume, all right? In addition to doing all this stuff that you just saw, we also do a lot of community work, all right? We all do a lot of community event, stuff that you can put on your resume when you apply for college. So think about that. Think about it. The, in that, I know when you fill out your, um, your college uh, application, they ask for you if you do any extracurricular activity, JRTC is one of those things that you can put on there, all right? And think about all the stuff that come with that team building, community work, all right? That stuff look really good on your resume. So at Hartem uh, High School, um, every summer, we do what they call a summer camp. It's only for a week long, but at that point in time, we take you to, um, there's an air base over in Fort Worth, over here. We take you over in the air base and we teach you guys how to map read, how to first aid, marching, shooting the rifles, air rifle, all right? At this moment, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna uh, show you another video or some of the, 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 the training that we do as far as um, learning how to shoot an air rifle, all right? Fifty JROTC teams from all over Texas are competing in the 2017 Texas State JROTC Air Rifle Championships, hosted by Northeast ISD. Photojournalist Jason Edison was the lead principal the star this three-day competition. This is a joint competition with four military services represented from all over the state. It's a three by 20 air rifle competition.
marks from your state, as well as an opportunity for post uh, secondary education opportunities. So I love when I was confused, I'm trying to just say this is the best part of coming together after all that practice to get into primary service skills and education. Guys, so you can earn a scholarship through this, all right, um, and go move on to higher education, university, college, etc. Uh, we do does stuff like this and a whole array of other stuff. And I mean, if you if you're interested, this is a chance. This is an opportunity. All right. Um, you only could do. We only ask that you try that for one year. If is if after the, the first year you don't like it, you could um, you, you can quit. You can quit. It's not a big deal. And in addition to that, we have a very flexible program, right? You can be a cheerleader, you could be a football player, you could be a wrestler, and still be in JRTC. All right. So our program is very flexible. Our program, um, your opinion definitely comes. So we're gonna take we normally take feedbacks from you guys. Um, to develop our program. So your opinion count. You also can earn uh, credits for being in JRTC. You can also get a leather jacket, all right? A leather jacket for, for, um, for doing different things in JRTC. And while you there, we have a rank structure, all right? So you get lieutenant, captain, you know, so forth and so on. And if you is good at what you do and you show an interest and you're participating and doing all your work, you get promoted. You get promoted. And once a month, you get a chance to wear your uniform, right? And you walk the hallways and everybody see you and you gain the respect from the teachers because they know that you is taking on an extra responsibility. You have given up yourself into becoming an adult. So they, re they recognize that and they respect you in return. All right, your peers also look up to you because why? Being a member of JRTC, you set the example for others to follow. That's what we do. All right, at Haltom High School, all our JRTC students are some of the best. All right, my battalion commander have a full a four point oh GPA. All right, that's 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 the kind of thing you can learn. More students. Uh, if you compare JRTC to the rest of the school population, most students in JRTC graduate and move on to college compared to the rest of the school population. Why? Because we instill discipline and time management. All right, and time management is important as you move up to the academic um, realm of things. So we teach you how to manage your time effectively, right? how to be on time, how to turn in your assignment on time, because at some point in time, you're gonna move on to college, right? Where there won't be somebody, it won't be your parents won't be there, there won't be nobody. And we give you those, we give you those techniques, right? Time management is gonna be essential. And because of that, our students that is in JRTC, they graduate because they're able to manage their time better. All right, so these are some of the benefits that you can, you get for joining JRTC at Halton High School. Another thing is that, let's just, just, just for FYI, Halton uh, High School JRTC program is the best in the district. Yeah, we are the best in the district. We just did a, what they call a command inspection. And we get, we overall, our score was 99.5 one or 99.5 something like that the highest in the district all right we have one of the best program in the district so i'm just telling you guys this opportunity is an opportunity that you can take either now or later on when you when the the, the, the following year but this opportunity is a good opportunity it's a really good and i'm not just telling you that just because i want you to join i'm telling you that because i believe in the program I believe in the program, all right? We have our um, staff, faculties, our one of our, our um, assistant principals, she is big on JRTC. Our principal is a former Navy officer. So he's big on JRTC, 
all right? We perform in, at all our homecoming games, football games, National Honor Society. We have our color guard to perform this. So we, we a big emphasis is put on JRTC at Halton High School. And you get that present, you feel that present. You get recognized when you're walking through the hallway. People recognize you for the stuff that you do, all right? Any questions from me at this point in time? Anybody only need to know anything about JRTC or Halton High School? No? Guys, this is a this is this is a great program. It's a good program. And it's very flexible. And I'm excited to have you guys coming over. Right? I'm excited for you guys to start this new chapter in your life. And I'm excited to for some of you guys who joined up to come to my class. When you come to class, you're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about. All right, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. This is this is where the rubber meet the road. All right, this is where you're you're moving into adult life right now. Decision, decision, decisions. All right, you guys moving into high school. More responsibility is going to be put upon you. Your parents is going to expect a little bit more from you. Your teacher is going to go, going to be expect a little bit more from you. Your peers is going to expect you to do things. But guess what? You join JRTC at Carlton High School, you're going to have the confidence. You're going to have the self-esteem. You're going to have the dedication and commitment to achieve all that. All right? To tell people no when they're making a decision that you think is a bad decision. All right? So who else? thinking about joining up. Who else thinking about coming joining me and gaining some of the experience that I explained? Don't be shy, guys. You got a question, man? No? no? Don't be shy. Don't be shy. You should be part. Yes, ma'am. Yep. Yep. So, Guys, I don't want to say that. Yes, sir. Yeah. Say again? What credits does it come for? It comes for, it come for um, I think it's extracurricular. All right. So um, if you don't get a chance, because everybody can be on a football team, right? Everybody in the office got to be for that. But, you know, you take job, DC is, uh, I think, the first year. In the second year is like a dual credit or something like that. Yeah. All right. So you earning you earning credits towards graduation. All right. You're earning credits towards, towards graduation. And you also is 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 um overall just being a better person, right? Because we teach you how to treat everybody with respect and dignity. Respect and dignity. All right. We does not belittle, we does not bully. I mean, we we pretty much is a program that install positive uh, qualities. So if you really want to experience that, if you really want to come in and, 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 and make a difference, right? If you really want to start building on that foundation, this is the time. This is the time for you to make that decision, right? You're moving into that out of realm of things where you're making decisions, right? That's gonna, either affect your life or affect your life, positively and negatively. Decisions, decisions, decisions. And I'm telling you, this is, this is the first step. This is the first step in the journey is the first step in the right direction. Let's see you next. Any questions? Any questions, guys? No? All right. So, Uh, who got siblings here? Younger siblings. All right. All right, that's everybody. Who remember what happened two weeks ago here in Texas? Who remember? Snowstorm, right? We had a terrible snowstorm that was one of the worst in a long, long time. So who was scared? Who was worried about, you know, the essentials, food, water, Paula, you was, right? 
Folk, what the first thing come to mind when you realize what was going on? Say again. I mean, your little brother, right? Your little brother. Exactly. Right, right. Who else? Who else? Who else experienced that? What was your experience? Yeah. yeah. So you was worried, right? You was like, man, I wonder when this thing gonna come back. You know what I mean? Uh, when I get the water, because you know what? Every day we use water, right? Every day we use the power. We come in the power. We don't really think about it, right? Because it's something that is is there, right? But the minute time we lose that ability, it become an issue, right? Then it become how important because you use water for almost everything, all right? Your body is made up of at least seventy five percent of water, right? Seventy five percent. I think you can go like about a week without drinking water. Then you your body starts shutting down. Correct me, huh? Three days, all right. Three days, so three days you ain't got no water. Your body starts shutting down. You start dying, all right? But guess what, guys? At JRTC, we teach you some survival skills that to mitigate, to help you with that situation, all right? What were some of the things that you guys could have done with the water and the power? to make your life a little bit better during that difficult time. Anybody? There you go, that's one thing right here, that's innovative. Who else? Who else? What one thing you could have done that could have make your life a whole lot better? Exactly. Start using those. Well, start using those. All that is good stuff, right? But guess what I did? So I already planned for this because I'm always ready, right? Because of my trading. So I had what they call a to-go bag. In my to-go bag, I had my flashlights, my lantern, all right? And guess what I do? I have these drugs, these 10 gallon drugs that I have in my garage full of water, all right? So all I gotta do is boil it. So once, they, once I realized that the water was gonna go, guess what another thing I did? I fill up my tub with water. I fill up my bathroom tub with water. Everybody have a bathroom tub in the house, right? You know how much gallons of water that hold? If you use it conservatively, you can have that for at least two weeks. You use that to brush your teeth, flush your toilet, and take a bath easily. If you got two tubs in your house, you're golden, all right? That's, that's what I did. So I have my lantern. My lantern is charged, and when it come on, it's bright. You can brighten this room, right? I can also charge my phone with it. So I plugged it in, my phone was always charged. The lantern was up, all right? And, you know, you just layer up with clothes, all right? Layer up with clothes. And that was, that how I was able to survive. The good thing about this is that you can learn their skills at JRTC so that you don't have to worry. You don't have to be scared. You don't have to think about, oh my God, we go into the apocalypse. This guy's just gonna come in and we're gonna freeze to death. You know, there's people who froze to death. There was people, I think it was 52 people who died during that time because of lack of um, eating system, all right? So think about that. Think about this, the, 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 the benefits of being JRTC so that during a difficult time, during a crisis, you could be able to remain calm, cool, and collective. And you could come out here, survive, and you could survive. Not only that, you could be the leader in your family and give your dad the idea. And he could be like, okay, yeah, cool. I like that idea. You give your mom that idea. You can help out because you have those survival skills. And that's some of the stuff that we do to teach at JRTC. You know, so another situation. You got siblings, right? And you guys 
goes out, go out in the wilderness, go to the park. Who ever been to a national park? Been to a national park? Uh, which one? Can I remember? You've been to a national park? All right. So there's national park all across the country, right? And there is huge, all right? You're talking hundreds of acres of land. Grown folks die, get lost and die, right? Just imagine, this is hypothetically speaking, I'm not saying this is going to happen. I'm just saying, this is an example. You and your family went to a national park, right? And you guys is coming into adults, so your parents say, hey, take your sibling with you, right? And tow the park. We're going to go over here because we want some, you know, some parents' time. We want to do our own thing, right? And then, so you go on over the kids and you do what you got to do. And then you get separated, right? Because you're going too far. I know you is turning and looking around and you're like, oh, I'm confused. I really don't know where I'm at right now. So you pick up your handy dandy phone, iPhone, iPhone 12 plus, right? And you realize that there's no service because there's no bar on your phone. It's like zero because while you out in the wilderness, you out in there, there's no signal, right? So he's like, what can I do? I don't have no GPS. I can't call my parents. What do I do? What's the two things that they give you when you enter a national park? Anybody knows? A map. Here we go. A map and a little wristband, right? They give you that too. But it, it, most of them give you a map and a little wristband, all right, to identify you. So guess what? You is a JROTC cadet at Halton University. We taught you how to read a map. So guess what you do? You pull out your handy dandy map, boom, and you figure out using terrain features where you at. And you was like, here. Yeah. And back here is a camp house. So if I continue and I go this way, I could catch with this road right here and I could go back to meet my family. Guys, survivor skills. Survivor kill skills that will save you and your family, friends in a difficult situation. That's one of the things that you can gain from being in JRTC. Any questions? Anybody want, else want to join? Yes, ma'am. See again? This right here? What are you talking about, this? Oh, this is your teachers. It's a mic. Oh, yeah. All right. You thought it was part of the uniform? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but at this point in time, thanks for your participation. I really appreciate it. Have a good day, guys.